We're going to pass through this 4 port USB 3 PCI Express adapter into my HP to a VM. Let's get straight into it. So this is the FebSmart USB 3.0 PCI Express card, or herb as you would call it. Um, it's pretty much basic, you've got four USB 3 ports, um, and it's on a PCI Express 1X interface. So let's open the, the bag. So here we are. Pretty nice, you've got a black PCB, you don't really find them around that often. Because I guess they're more expensive to produce than green PC. PCBs, quite an amount, good traces on the board. So yeah, so it's basically four USB ports on an X1 interface, and you see you've got all these transistors and um, capacitors. This is USB 3, you can and uh, power delivery out of these ports. So uh, yeah, so the rest in the box you get some driver disk, um, this is only I think for like Windows XP, Windows 7, um, Windows 8 and Windows 10 will work straight out of the box with this pretty much. And you have like a expansion card, insulation guide, um, we don't, we won't be needing that because it's pretty simple to install. And we also get a, a, um, a slot retaining screw, so if you're putting it into a PC case, um, then you would need to screw this in so it doesn't jangle about uh, loosely. So let's, uh, let's take this downstairs and let's install it into my server. So before we actually put the card into the host, we need to shut down the hosts. And we're going to do this by, if I go to, so if I log into my HP first. So before recording this video, I went ahead and shut down the VMs that I need to shut down. and. I just RDP'd into them individually and shut them down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the host so we can actually install the card. So I'm going to do that is go to host. I might as well put it into maintenance mode. It's a best practice. It's a best practice to do that, um, especially if your host is in a cluster. Then the um, the migration wouldn't fail if it can't detect that the host is back up or not. So I'm going to click on yes to that. I'm not in the cluster, but it's just best practice to do that. Um, next, I'm going to just click on shut down and shut down. So now the card's in the server, we now need to turn on the server. Because we've got management tools available, what's stopping us from using them? Oh, the ILO is so useful. So let's log into the ILO and let's go from there. So I'm going to log into the ILO now and I have to do that through Internet Explorer. 172.16.2.2 And then I'm going to agree to the risk. That should bring me to the ILO 3. Then I'm going to log in. And now we click on the integrated remote console.net. 
So then we're going to click on the power switch and turn on the server. And then we wait for it to boot up. So I'm going to wait for it to boot to ESXi. So the host is up now. I'm going to log back into the host. So once we're in the server, I'm going to go to manage. Then we'll go to hardware. Then PCI, PCI devices. And as we look down, we can see our device, the USB 3 host controller. And then we see pass-through is disabled. So to pass through this controller, we need to go and click on toggle pass through right here. And then we successfully toggled pass through for device, the host controller. Changes made will not take effect until the host is restarted. So we need to restart the host for the pass through to be enabled and so that we can actually assign it to a virtual machine. So let's reboot the host and we'll be back. And once we're back in, we're going to go back over to the hardware. And now we see that the pass-through is now active. So to pass through a device to a VM, you need to have fixed memory allocation. So I'm going to click on edit. Then I'm going to go down to memory and reserve all guest memory, all locked. That means if I specify 2 gigs of RAM, it will take 2 gigs of RAM. Then I'm going to click on save. And I might as well go back into edit and enable the PCI device. So now we are, so now we are the USB host controller is now available. Now I'm going to boot up the VM. And I'll log in. I'm going to go to device manager and see if the devices are listed. And as we see, if we go into the cameras, we've got the live cam sync, which is the, the webcam that I plugged in. And if we go under universal serial bus controllers, the Renesas 3.0 extensible host controller is passed through. So if we go and open up Contacam, which is my piece of software that I use. So I open up Cam Sync. And there we go. So this is my rack. This is behind the G7. And as you see this black cable here, that's the the webcam that's plugged into the PCI Express slot. And there we go. We've got a live feed from my camera. Successful, we passed through a PCI Express USB cards to a virtual machine. Make sure to leave a like and also click on that red subscribe button if you haven't already. My name is Jamie, this is Decker J. Thank you for watching.